There will be a change to the federal hiring process as a new tools being introduced by OPM. This includes advertising people to federal agencies through usajobs.gov. It's been understood for years that the federal hiring process, it's too long, it's too convoluted, and it really deters a lot of the highly qualified applicants. People who would otherwise apply and compete for government jobs, they're turned off, they're not interested, they're not even creating usajobs.gov accounts, they're not applying for the jobs. So there's a new initiative when it comes to skill-based hiring, right? So less on educational attainment and more on actual experience. From this, the government has developed shared certifications, which means let's say you're a high quality candidate and you're applying to the Department of Justice. As you apply to the Department of Justice, you click the box that it's okay to share your job application. Now, the Department of Justice could, in theory, share it with the Department of Agriculture or share it with the USPTO. And then they could determine whether or not you're a good fit and they could interview you. So. This has been done in limited scale, but it's expanding and it will continue to expand. Last year, HR leaders at a lot of different agencies agreed to try an early version of pooled hiring. The new tool is called Talent Pools. And there's a website called Agency Talent Portal that HR and hiring managers can access to search for qualified people. This pooled hiring, this should eliminate some of the burden from the job seeker. In the past, I've told people, you need to apply three, four times a day. You need to be consistent. This could equate to a hundred or more applications before you're actually sitting in a government job. Well, that this new approach would eliminate that, right? Because you could apply once and then that one job application could potentially go to, let's say 10, 11, 12 different agencies and you could be considered a lot. This is similar to the 12 month roster positions that you can find on usajobs.gov today where the job announcement is open for 12 months. You apply one time and you could be considered up to a dozen times or more. As the agency has the need, they then hire and onboard more and more people. Now this effort is also going to save the agency time because what has happened in the past is the agency had to repost job announcements, right? If they're not getting the right people or if the hiring manager wants to interview more candidates, they will repost that job announcement. Well, this will eliminate that because you're not just relying on that one job announcement. You now have a pool which you could pick from and consider. The talent pools feature has been live since March, but the cross agency hiring certificates were not added until this past September. Agencies, they still have to opt in. So there is some effort that they have to do in order to fully leverage this tool. And there's a KSA match, right? So KSA is your, your knowledge, skills, and abilities. So let's say you're a program analyst with the Veteran Affairs. Just because you're a program analyst there doesn't mean you're going to be a good fit over at the Department of Agriculture. So they have to make sure that your skills, your experience are lining up so you're suitable for that position. And it's not just cross agency. There's some agencies in the same office. Doesn't matter if you have the same job series, you could be doing something completely different. Your responsibilities and duties might not align with the person sitting in the cubicle next to you, even though you share the same job series. So there's that to account for as well. HR has a big role here to make sure that these hires are going to be good hires. But check this out. Let's say that you're applying for a job in NASA. So you're on usajobs.gov. You're applying to be a program analyst. And then NASA decides, I'm, we're going to share cross agency. We're going to share your job application. And SSS picks it up, the Social Security Administration. And they're like, wow, this guy looks good. I want to interview them. So they, they send an email request to interview you. But you don't want to work at SSA because you've heard about all the horrible things. You've heard they rank at the very bottom of all agencies throughout the government consistently. So you want no parts of the SSA. Do you take the interview? Is that going to rub you the wrong way to get that type of request? Are you going to ignore it? Are you going to decline it? Maybe you'll go on the interview. There's certain people, they only want to work for a handful of agencies or maybe just one agency. And then you have the other people that are saying, you know what? Let's, let's take the barrier down. I'm open to everybody. There's over 400 federal agencies in the government. Maybe they're open to any one of the agencies. They're just trying to get into the government. They just want to start working. So which one are you? Okay, so a few questions came from this action. First question is, can an agency share a certificate for a direct hire position? 
And the answer is no, which is kind of mind blowing because direct hire, these people have an urgent critical need. Why wouldn't they be able to use this feature? Well, it has to do with the laws that surround direct hire. So that's a no. Another question, will this apply to temporary job positions? And the answer is no. Once again, hey, this does not apply to any type of temporary positions. Then someone asked, how long is the certificate used for? When does it expire? The answer here was it expires after 240 days and extensions are not possible. All right, so the key takeaway is to remember this when you're applying on usajobs.gov. If you are given the opportunity to check that box, granting permission to share your application, your resume, and all the other documents with other agencies or sub-agencies, go ahead and click the box. If you're trying to get in, if you wanna expedite things, click the box. If you are still interested in the federal government job, you could be wondering how much is the pension exactly? And when will you get it? Will it be enough? If these questions are on your mind, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.